हेलो यूट्यूबर्स वेलकम टू माय शो साइंस थर्सडे टुडे वी गोना टेक अ लुक एट स्टर्लिंग एंजल सो वाज द आइडिया ऑफ स्टर्लिंग एंजल बेसिकली इट्स अ हीट एंजल व्हिच वर्क्स स्पेसिफिकली ऑन डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू टेंपरेचर हॉट एंड कोल्ड इट्स अ क्लोज साइकिल सिस्टम व्हाट डज दैट मीन सो बेसिकली क्लोज साइकिल सिंपली मींस देयर इज नो इनपुट और आउटपुट इन द सिस्टम सो लाइक अ इंटरनल कंबस्शन इंजन टेक्स एयर फ्रॉम द एनवायरनमेंट देन मिक्सेस पेट्रोल देन एग्जॉस्ट द आउटपुट सो फॉर दैट रीजन इट्स अ ओपन सिस्टम दिस ऑन द अदर हैंड इज अ क्लोज सिस्टम दैट बेसिकली व्हाट डज इट डू विद दैट इंजन बेसिकली इट कन्वर्ट्स थर्मल एनर्जी बेसिकली द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टेंपरेचर इनटू मैकेनिकल वर्क it could be linear going back and forth back and forth or it could be a uh, rotational energy using crankshafts and it can also act as a refrigerator if you rotate it you will get the same output basically you will get one hot side one cold side like a compressor and as you can see this uh, toy version you can buy basically it works on the difference of your body heat versus your surrounding ambient air so it basically works on temperature difference why it is first very high efficiency this is a very old engine this predates almost uh, steam engine not predate per se the idea was uh, back then but uh, this supposed to replace steam engines because back in that day steam engines used to explode the boilers used to explode and kill people quite horrifically so for safety reasons people wanted to use this and it has higher efficiency and it has very low noise pollution which is very crucial for some applications and if you compare it to internal combustion engine like how you have in your cars or things like that it's uh, internal combustion engine max case scenario you can only go up to 20% internal efficiency this can go as high as 50 and it works from heat from anything so it could be uh solar driven it could be nuclear driven it doesn't matter now when i said it is very low noise pollution this submarine is a swedish submarine uses the stirling engine now the benefit benefit of that system is when they did that a test uh, uh, military exercise americans could not find it because when it runs on that stirling engine the noise output of the submarine goes so low it's flat out undetectable the, uh, like even a nuclear reactor is not uh, silent as this but simply because nuclear reactors are quite big they have a lot of coolant going back and forth and uh, it's big clunky and a lot of things are moving compared to this which is relatively slow so suffice to say uh, the low noise output is quite uh, advantageous and some companies employ uh, generator set that works on still an engine if they want low noise uh, like in a hospital or things of that nature so i said it's uh, going to become our future now when i say future i don't mean it's going to replace our internal combustion engine one simple reason for that it's very uh, low power density basically you need to build a very big engine for just a few amount of power so like you know 100 horsepower engine will be like size of a truck like a truck engine basically so it's not that power dense however because it can be convert directly thermal energy into mechanical energy it makes perfect for solar energy now you might say why not use solar cell a solar cells are expensive b solar cell gives you dc current this gives you ac which is much easier to transport and uh, monitor for whole lot of other reasons uh, ac is much more preferable and nasa recently uh, is taking the fact uh, that humans have to go to mars very seriously so they realize solar power is not going to work in you know mars because of dust storms and things of like that nature so they are building a 10 kilowatt nuclear reactor a very small nuclear like this one and it has a nuclear heater here and based on stirling engine is working so there is no steam there is no high pressure and uh, it's quite safe and the fact that uh, nuclear power is also looking into that is very simple even though steam has almost the same efficiency as this is generally high pressure now steam has a tendency to explode and i well, i don't mean pressure explosion i mean water starts to split in high temperatures which generally happens with nuclear reactor and uh, when it splits and there is a lot of heat it recombines and explodes that's what happened in chernobyl the nuclear reactor did not blow up the water in the reactor split and then combined again now why that split happened very high temperature and uh, presence of a catalyst caused that same happened in fukushima so suffice to say it's kind of funny to say but never a nuclear reactor rarely goes boom and most of the time that things that go boom is actually water so for nuclear power generation stirling engine makes a very compelling com uh, 
argument so i think in our future we're gonna see a lot of sterling engine so this was my presentation i hope you guys liked it or learned from it in that case please like if you didn't dislike leave a comment please subscribe and press the bell icon as i make video every day and as always thanks for watching